Hi, we're here today with Ben Warren from Be Pure. He's a nutritionist and he's going to talk us through some of the products that you'll find on supermarket shelves. As you'll know, when we wrote Appetite for Destruction, we found that the, the labeling and advertising of fake foods can be quite misleading and that's why so many Kiwis are confused about what to eat if they want to eat healthily. Over to you, Ben. Come on you Tim Tams. Oh, let's, let's talk about these puppies. These are a fat bomb. And when I say a fat bomb, I don't mean from the fat that's in them, although they are pretty much a fat bomb. Um, they basically are gonna make you store fat more than, you know, if I was looking in the supermarket going, well, what food would make you store fat the most? And this is what I found. The reason being is they've got very high levels of sugar. So for 100 grams, you're looking at 11 teaspoons of sugar. All right, that's a lot of sugar. So sugar then opens, your, your blood sugar levels rise and your body's gonna release a hormone called insulin. Now insulin is the primary hormone that opens up the, the gates on your cells to then store energy. And so the problem being is that you're gonna get that energy, in, energy storage and then you've got a whole bunch of fat in here as well. So you've got 30 grams of fat per 100 grams. And then all of these fats in the form of triglycerides are gonna go rushing into your cells as well with that sugar and cause your fat cells to expand. So they're just an absolute fat bomb in regards that they're gonna make you store body fat more than, more than anything. When you combine, we know that sugar is the primary thing that makes you store body fat. But when you combine sugar with fat, that's a, it's a double whammy because the sugar opens up the cell and then the fat goes rushing in. So this is why eating fast food meals are so problematic is because you, you, this, they're, they're packed with high fat and damaged fats as well, but we won't get into that in this video. And they're packed with, with high fat, but then you have a, a soft drink that's really high sugar, you know, at least 10 teaspoons of sugar. It opens up the cell and then all that fat goes rushing in and then you're storing it. And the, the problem with that is that then you haven't got the energy in the bloodstream where you want it. Uh, because you want the energy in the bloodstream because you want available access for energy production. So then your energy crashes as well. So for me, whoo, the, these, these are bad boys right here. Even holding them makes me nervous. 